Okay, so this is kind of a quick walkthrough on how to get started with uh, NGS. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a single NAS URL to connect everything. It's a global, uh, in terms of the topology, it's a global NAS supercluster that spans uh, across eight different regions, uh, three different clouds, AWS, uh, Google Compute, and Azure. Uh, so just a week walkthrough on getting started. Uh, as from if you got the email and you can get the tool from uh, this script that will give you the NGS and NSC uh, utilities. Uh, if you you can uh, easily get started with a free account uh, to start uh, sending messages. In this case, we, uh, we're initializing using the Synedia operator um, and NATS Connect account. Uh, internally, this is using all the NATS V2 uh, credentials and JWTs uh, in order to auth with, authenticate with the server. Uh, if you look at the credentials format, you have the JWT and also your private uh, your private uh, key to connect against the, the cluster. So a hello world, uh, just using the NATS box uh, tool, which you can find on this uh, URL. We also have a Docker image that uh, you can use in this case to mount uh, the credentials that have been generated. Um, so I can use Docker run into the Sanidia box to get, uh, you can start sending messages. Connect to uh, ngs.global. And publishing. Using those credentials. It worked. This is going over the uh, super cluster, and in this case, uh, since I'm in San Francisco, it will be against the AWS US West 2 region. So yeah, quite easy to get started with uh, NGS. In terms of the Go API, we have uh, you have to pass the user credentials. Uh, to the when you connect, and uh, uh, Derek only mentioned in the uh, with the command line tools, but we have a couple of uh, utilities as part of the a couple of services that you can use to confirm your connection. Uh, we have an echo service that will just uh, give you an echo response um, with uh, the payload that you sent. You can also get the uh, usage. One, the payload is not important. You can get some stats on your usage from NGS. And also uh, following up from uh, what Derek mentioned about the leaf nodes, um, something very cool that you can do with NGS is uh, combining with um, uh, the leaf nodes type of topology. Uh, you, for this uh, type of uh, topology, you need to use at least the developer account. So you can go into this, uh, the pricing page from Synadia and get a developer account, which will give you the account to be able to start sending, uh, to be able to use uh, leaf notes uh, if you follow the instructions from the email that uh, it was sent to you. Uh, and I want to show you uh, as an example of uh, what, so, so yeah, this is um, instead of, with, with a leaf node, instead of connecting against to, against connect.ngs.global, you can just use a uh, uh, local host as a direct, direct show. So follow, uh, using the same uh, super cluster that I, shared earlier, uh, we still have the, the super cluster that was just in the gateways to create like a super cluster to be able to send messages across regions. Uh, we're gonna do something similar, but a, a 
um, in but well, using a slight a different uh, topology in this case instead of using the super cluster and having to all the gateway connections one to an, another one instead we are going to connecting the different regions but using NGS itself uh, as a service so in terms of Helm you can see the difference on the left side we have the super cluster where I need to specify what are the endpoints and all the IPs from uh, the, all the three all the members uh, all the cluster that are part of the super cluster and the right side you have the single shared uh, uh, configuration that you can use to stitch everything together so these these both allow to be able to publish a message from these uh, different regions and be routed uh, properly. So for example, in case here at the top, we have a San Francisco a container running in San Francisco. Here we have it in uh, New York. We try to connect, we'll get a, a very different uh, server IP. And we can't create a I need to start a subscription. Let's say hello. Hello world. And we also uh, were able to use uh, send messages to this other remote region without having to use the, the super cluster type of topology. So, so yeah, the leaf nodes are super flexible and you can leverage some of the or super clusters and all of the regions that we have to be able to simplify um, some of your deployments as well. So for example, from here, the region that is going to result is um, AWS US East One from San Francisco. I would have been connected to US West Two. So yeah, just a, a short uh, demo of uh, NGS. Uh, definitely try it out. It uh, it yeah, definitely. I think uh, leaf nodes make it uh, uh, a lot more fun. Uh, for uh, playing with different network topologies. Uh, thank you.